Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson. We're going to be covering Big Picture by London Grammar, all right? We have just a few chords in this song, so I'll go over the chords first. If you're really comfortable with chords, you can obviously just skip ahead and we'll get straight into it, all right? So, C is our first chord, all right? We got third fret, third finger, A string, middle finger, second fret, D string, open G, first finger, first fret, on the B string and open E. Okay. Then the next chord we use is F sus. Really nice chord. So we we'll start with these two. We've got third finger again, third fret, and then the pinky goes underneath. Okay. Open G. This finger's not down. It might look like it is. Open G. Then first finger's here again. So it's kind of the same, except the pinky is coming here, okay, and the middle finger's off. C, F sus, all right. We still have the open E at the bottom there, if you can. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to bring your, make sure your wrist is up, and your elbow, make sure it's over here. You don't want it there, okay, you want it over here. Then you can get your thumb over for the F. Okay. Don't worry too much. If you can't get that thumb over this, you still that still sounds good, all right? So don't worry about the thumb too much. So we've got C so far, F sus, all right? So we only have two more chords to learn for this song. We got A minor, which is uh, sort of like C, but we're gonna move the third finger under the middle finger, okay? So open A, second fret, middle finger, Second fret, third finger, first fret, first finger, open E. Okay, A minor, and then we're gonna have a G. Uh, I'm gonna leave the open E at the bottom there, so it's literally two fingers. It's like C, but we're gonna move the top two up a string, like that. Okay, so third finger, third fret, second finger, second fret, and then the rest is open. All right. So let's take a look at the intro, which is very short, and then we'll move into the verse. So the intro, we just have C, okay? Just down, down, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's the general rhythm for the first half of this song. It's just strumming on one, two, strum, four, one, two, three. Okay, we strum on one, two, three, four. Strum, two, strum, nice and easy. Two, three, down strums as well, okay? Then we go into the verse. Now, for the verse, we're gonna have a little finger change. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Add the pinky there, okay? Two, one, two, three, four. So you have two options. You can do either whenever you like, literally. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or you can add the pinky. Okay. So either open B or add the pinky, okay? So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we change to F sus. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then we do it again. So the second half of the verse, exactly the same. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. Okay, that's the verse. So that one's that part's nice and easy. Then we go into the chorus. Only now do I see the big picture. Okay, so we have a few extra chords here. We got F sus first. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, A minor, G, F again, two, three. Time. 
one. just ends on the F sus there. So after that last what you just meant for me don't say you ever love me then we add some rhythm in okay so let's just work we'll we'll get to that part but let's just work on the chorus together okay so I'll count us in on four start on the F one two one two three four one two three one, two, three, change. One, two, three, four. 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 And what you just meant for me, don't say you ever love go into this next section here which is sort of uh, I don't know post chorus after chorus part so the rhythm we want to play is down up up down 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 up down up up down 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 up down up up down 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 up down up up down okay so do that slowly down up up down 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 up down up up down 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 up so we're gonna have start with C, and then go to G. One, two, all right. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we go back into a verse again. All right. So let's work on that part together. All right. C, G, then again C to G, and then we have F two bars on four. One, two. One, two, don't say you ever love me. Into verse two, okay? So verse two, we can play the same chords as verse one, but we want to keep this rhythm going. Okay. Don't forget we got the F at the end. And don't forget that we have, take that finger off, add the pinky. Okay, so let's do verse two together. Same as verse one, but with the rhythm, right? On four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one. again okay. and we go into chorus two okay which is exactly the same only now do I see the big picture Okay, but this time we have the rhythm, all right? So let's try and play this chorus together, all right? We're gonna add the rhythm. It's still the same chords as we had before, just we got the added rhythm, all right? On four, one, two, one, two, three, four. So after the second chorus, don't forget we had the little kind of post-chorus part. Don't say you ever love me. Okay, we 
grab that little part there. So let's do that together. I know we've gone over it already, but we'll do it twice. One, two, one, two. Don't say you ever love me. And we keep going round and round and round, right? The outro, we have C to G three times instead of two. And then F once, okay? So once you finish your singing and we go to the outro part, it, you'll notice if you listen to the song, it just keeps going round and round and round and round and round. So if you're playing along or you're playing at a gig or whatever you're doing with this song, obviously you can just play as many times as you like. I would play it twice maybe four times depends what if you got the rest of the band with you or if it's just you maybe do it a little bit less because it gets boring um but yeah i hope you found this lesson helpful guys uh go away and play along to the song and have fun with it